Hello guys, this is your GP, family physician, Dr. Ali. So, do you want to know more about the medication that you may have been prescribed or you may have purchased over the counter? Remember, I will be talking about the pharmacological names rather than specific brands. So, what is amitriptyline? Amitriptyline is used for tummy pain and it is used as 5 to 10 milligrams given at night time and it is gradually increased to a maximum of 30 milligrams. Yes, it is an antidepressant and for depression it is given in doses of 50 milligrams in divided doses and maximum dose of 150 milligrams. However, this is not a favored medication these days. Amitriptyline is also given for other conditions such as neuropathic pain, migraine prophylaxis, prevention of chronic tension type headache and emotional lability in patients with multiple sclerosis. In these patients the starting dose is 10 to 25 milligrams and gradually increased. They usually require a maximum of 75 milligrams. The conditions in which you should not give amitriptyline include arrhythmias, patients who have a manic phase of their bipolar disorder, patients with cardiac problems or those who have just had a heart attack. The common side effects are called as anticholinergic syndrome and that includes dry mouth, constipation, urinary retention and other symptoms. Amitriptyline also causes drowsiness. It can also prolong the QT interval and your GP may do an ECG before starting you on this medication. Remember the risk of any side effects is minimized if you start at a lower dose. In pregnancy, you should only use this medication if potential benefits outweigh the risks. In breastfeeding, the amount is too small to be harmful. In liver failure, manufacturers advise to avoid or use with caution in mild to moderate impairment and avoid completely in severe impairment. To stay up to date with my videos, please don't forget to like, share and follow. Thank you very much.